Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, today we're going to be talking about Parkinson's disease because a lot of people have been asking about it. Before I move forward, I'm going to let you know right now I'm not giving you any medical advice. I am going to show you some research studies, but I'm just going to give you my opinions on it. That's all I'm doing here. And let's just go ahead and move forward because obviously Parkinson's is very similar to dementia and Alzheimer's. It's a neurodegenerative disease. And I'm going to show you guys some funny business, in my opinion, of what's going on because check this out right here. The moment people read this, they're just going to stop reading. And I think that's a huge mistake because this trial fails to show benefits of hydrogen saturated water in Parkinson's patients. Guys, huge misunderstanding here. And I'm going to show you why. Because if you actually read the article, this is what's so weird. Um, they're basically saying that you know, hydrogen water doesn't appear to be working, right? But if you actually read the study, and this is where it just gets, in my opinion, just really, really odd. They do talk about a lot of um, uh, things that cause like oxidative stress, reactive oxygen species, things that we're exposed to in everyday life, you know, and how the oxidative damage causing, you know, things like Parkinson's disease and things of that nature. So, and that's why they really thought that, you know, hydrogen might work. They talk about the different methods of um, hydrogen that can be used, even though, in my opinion, they're not doing the right ones in this particular study. And they even showed in an er earlier study of 18 medicated Parkinson's patients revealed that hydrogen enriched water might provide therapeutic benefits for these patients. It says might because that's what they were seeing. They were seeing that there was a positive effect. And I'll show you that study later. Um, it even showed right here, 48 weeks of therapy with hydrogen and rich water, the patients experienced a mean reduction of 5.7 points. Uh, it's, on, it's a scale called the UPDRS score. Guys, right there, that's already a positive thing because look at the placebo ones. The placebos worsened by 4.1 points. This one had a reduction. This one had an increase. Right there, it shows me that obviously Parkinson's is being helped by hydrogen enriched water. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't like the same mean things, but come on, what a bunch of morons right there. You know, they, they, they put those titles and they're almost trying to make hydrogen look bad, which is too bad, you know. But if you keep on reading, um, here was another, you know, uh, study with a lot more patients. And what, what you ultimately find out here is, look, this is, the, this is the other mistake in my opinion, that they're using something called Ecomo water. Big mistake, guys. If you read about this water, first of all, they store them in plastic bottles. I'm going to show you that later, too. And that's a big mistake because they ship these bottles to the customers and, you know, and then they're supposed to drink the water and they, they gave them three hours to drink it once they opened the cap. And those are all mistakes as far as trying to implement hydrogen properly. I mean, they're, they're just not being, you know, very careful. And look at this, even the researchers themselves. I don't know why they would spend money on a research study like this and then do it incorrectly. It says right here. Researchers believe that these results could be due to the fact that hydrogen doses being administered with hydrogen water 7.0 are too low and may act more as a placebo. See right there, guys, I believe that the patients were getting some hydrogen. They just weren't getting enough. So they saw some effect. In my opinion, it did show some positive effects, but it wasn't enough for them to really recognize it and say, yeah, this is really going to make a huge difference. So, you know, they're like, oh, we need further research and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, this just makes hydrogen water look really bad because all they do is put, hey, the trial fails. It's like, you guys, it, it didn't fail. You guys implemented hydrogen incorrectly. I mean, if you go and look at stuff, like even here, right here, um, our previous randomized double-blind studies show that drinking hydrogen water for 48 weeks significantly improved the total, unif the, the scale again, the UPDRS score for Parkinson's disease. Again, these were patients who were taking something called levodopa. Um, and as I told you before, hydrogen appears to enhance a lot of things. I believe it was actually doing its own thing. Plus, it was enhancing levodopa, in my opinion. Um, the other thing is right here. Another double-blind, you know, the, another study. If you read this particular one, they were giving the patients 1,000 milliliters a day of hydrogen water, which is one liter. Um, again, I believe it was that Ecoma water. And again, big mistake. This is not enough, in my opinion, to give the therapeutic amounts that they're gonna need. I've developed more and more different protocols with hydrogen water. Um, it's been taking me a while to really figure it all out. And as I look at the studies, um, they're not, I mean, they show an effect because obviously there's gonna be an effect from the hydrogen, but in my opinion, they're implementing it wrong. It's like giving somebody a sliver of Tylenol and they'll see a difference, but they don't see the difference that they're really looking for. It's because they're not giving them the right dose. Dose is everything, guys. And I just don't understand why they're not doing it properly. I really, really don't. So if, if you go through, you know, all these are really long. I'm not going to go through every single detail and whatnot. But right here is part of it. And in my opinion, the mistake, because they're using 
Um, they say saturated water. They're not saying if it's fully saturated. They don't, they don't even give the levels, guys. Of the, I mean, how can you give a medicine and not know the levels? It just, I mean, I think it's showing that, I, I believe they're talking about full saturation here. But again, look at this. They're doing a 500 milliliter plastic bottles. How can you know the levels when you give it to a, when you ship it to a person? And then it's, and they're supposed to drink two bottles a day, which they said some of the patients were having trouble drinking one liter of water. That's going to be a problem. And then they're saying to drink within three hours of opening the cap. Another mistake. Three hours, guys, it's, it's going to be gone, in my opinion, especially in plastic bottles. You want to use better bottles than that. So... Um, again, I, I just think that they're just implementing these studies completely incorrectly, but they are seeing positive changes. I just think that they need to make um, differences on how they, I mean, look at this right here, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm inhaling the hydrogen right now, but I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing something fresh. I also drank the water freshly out of there. This is why you have to make it yourself. It really won't work, in my opinion, if you're not making it yourself and you're starting to ship it. You're only going to get minor, you know, um, differences, you know, or benefits. And, but right here, again, if you just look at the details, um, they have indicated that the intake of hydrogen water, even after the MPTP administration, reduces neurotoxic damage, guys, right there. That's super important because that's what Parkinson's is basically having to do with. And then you see more stuff, molecular hydrogen as an emerging, uh, emerging therapeutic medical, medical gas for neurodegenerative and other diseases. So again, uh, well, again, you see Parkinson's disease right here. They talk about Alzheimer's because, again, they're very, very uh, similar. I'm not going to go through everything on this one. They also showed some positive effects on um, the human, uh, let's see here, effects that hydrogen has been reported on 63 disease models and human diseases. To me, it's really shown that there's a positive effect. It's just we have to learn how to use it properly. I don't know why they don't realize that hydrogen escapes so quickly. And then, of course, this is one of the ones where you see the effect of molecular hydrogen on rodent models on neurodegenerative diseases. I mean, you can see somewhere in here, like uh, right here, the number of neurons on the toxic injected side was reduced to 40%. Um, let's see, on the control side, where areas hydrogen treatment improved their reduction to 83%. So again, they're showing positive effects from the hydrogen. In my opinion, th this is my opinion, the reason that I think it's working better on animals is because the animals are smaller and when they give them so much water, um, it, th it really depends on your body weight or body mass. So they're actually getting more hydrogen uh, for their body size. That's why I think that we need to do it differently uh, for somebody that's a uh, human, that is larger. And that's why I think they're personally implementing it wrongly. So, and then of course, when you do something like the brain, um, when you're dealing with something like Parkinson's, you're, you want to get the gas into the brain. So the water, in my opinion, it is necessary. You know, with my own personal protocol, I would definitely say the water, but in something like Parkinson's, I would say you definitely want to do inhalation. I mean, there's a reason that, again, you know, my device, it doesn't just do the water it also does the inhalation aspect because it's intelligent and that's why i chose this device not only because it makes it cleanly and the levels that it makes but because it offers both in one package and that's the way to go so seeing a study like this guys in my opinion is highly misleading i've known people who just read this and they say ah, it doesn't work and they don't research it enough to really know this is all they need to see is that it failed and in my opinion, that's a very big mistake. And obviously, if you dig deeper, you realize that this is just a bunch of garbage. And maybe somebody is trying to make hydrogen look like garbage. I don't know why they would do that because you guys definitely share this video. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's a conspiracy or anything. Um, or who knows? Maybe it is. I don't know. But I think that you guys should share this video in whatever platform you can in social media. Because there are people out there who are suffering from something like Parkinson's, something like Alzheimer's and dementia. And these people don't know that there's options out there, things like hydrogen that could potentially help. You know, who knows? But, you know, from based on the research that I'm seeing, I, you know, I definitely think that it could have some positive effects. And people don't know about it. And people are suffering, guys. And a lot of families are suffering and older couples are suffering when they could have something that could maybe it would just slow it down, the progression. Maybe it would enhance the medications that they're on. Who knows? All I'm saying is that people don't realize that something is out there like hydrogen. People haven't heard about it, and it's really good if we can help each other out and share the word. So guys, again, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to support the channel as usual. i got a lot of other great videos for you guys, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.